What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, this is Dubai Tamilans YouTube channel and my name is Yashi. Welcome to all my Tamilans. So the lockdown has been extended in India till May 17th. Guys, before I talk about this, this is my opinion and this is a suggestion from my side. I would like to speak this in Tamil but I want the entire India, the viewers from India to watch this. So that's the reason why I'm speaking in English. Because my Hindi is okay okay and I don't want it to make it uh, funny. So I wanted to speak it in a language where everyone neutrally will understand. So before I start this video, I would just like to share my experience and the way things were controlled here in UAE. And I live here in Dubai from 2008. Recently, the whole world had to shut down because of this lockdown. And now here in UAE, the rules were so strict and the rules were tight and everyone had to be at home. At the same time, we all had to take this decision in a, in a better way to stay at home. Basically, what we understood is, if the government is saying us to stay at home, that means it's something uh, we really have to obey it. And the reason why we're doing that is because it's for our own safety. How UAE was controlling this lockdown? The thing is, the way the, the ruler the way the authorities, the way the frontliners were dealing with the nationalities here. Mix of religion, mix of nationality and everyone started to obey the rules here. Like for example, they had from 8 till 6 a.m. in the morning, they were shut down for, for the past 2-3 weeks and later on slowly they changed it to 10 till 6 and then since Ramadan is here, everything is opening up slowly and they were also telling everyone that you have to work on this to wear the mask when you go out, when you have to wear, you have to wear the glove. And then there's a huge fine when you're not wearing a mask. It was given by the Dubai police. Today, UAE is slowly coming out of this virus. Somehow, it's because the nationalities who are here are just obeying the government's rules and the regulation. They understood that if they don't listen, this virus is going to affect them. There are few, for sure there will be few, who were like not bothered, who were like not, you know. But those were also punished later on seeing them in the road. They were also advised, they were also given, you know, fines and all this stuff. But here the work has to go on. The things has to move on. So people slowly started to, to protect themselves when they are going outside. And I'm again saying I should not compare UAE with India or any country with India. Since I'm living in UAE, since I'm seeing it by myself and since I'm also speaking about this in my channel from the day this lockdown started, I'm very much happy to share with you guys the real difference and the real work where the UAE government is fighting to save everyone here. There are a lot of medias, there are a lot of information coming from outside the country saying that this is struggling, this is suffering, that is suffering. I don't know, boss. All I can see, I'm sharing with you guys. Recently, even the Dubai police appreciated me for my work because I'm trying to spread awareness. And it was not only for my Indians, it was for everyone. Because here, we don't see religion, we don't see caste, or we don't see nationalities. We just see, and we are all are united, and we want to live and work here safely. Simple as that. A lot of people are also appreciating me, my viewers, saying that, you know, it's good to see UAs like this. I got messages from Malaysia, messages from Sri Lanka, messages from India, messages from different, different countries saying that, you know, is that true this is happening? You know, is that true is this happening? But the end of the day, it was me from my channel to give a clear picture what is controlling here UAE. And I was reading and explaining all my viewers what's happening here in UAE via the news updates which comes from the legal newspapers here. So everyone was satisfied in what's happening and few of them were also saying, you know, I see some messages, I see some videos coming wrong about UAE. I also told them, see, Every country, there are fake news spreading around. Here in UAE, you are here, you don't have to spread fake news. And if you have to spread the fake news, you will be punished immediately. Now, India, 
I have my family there. I have my friends there, my cousins there, my 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 entire people are there in India. And you can even think Malaysia. Malaysia also is controlling it to a better way. You know, they are also fighting it, and they are really, really trying to control it. Anyways, now since India has been extended for this lockdown, I want to talk about India. So please forgive me. And if you think I'm comparing India and UAE, not at all. I'm just sharing with you guys the experience which I had here, which I saw here. Not only me, all the Indians here, for sure they will believe this is true. And the other nationalities as well. Now, India. India is a huge country. Narendra Modi ji is giving his 101 person to uh, save the country. People around are also listening. Now, in India, out of 100 percent, I will say... 60 people, 60 percentage are really following the rules. The other 40 percentage, in that 20 percentage, are really hard workers. They want to go out to work. The other 20 percent is people, you know, they're not careless. They're, 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 they're not worried. They're not bothered. So they are just having fun and really um, taking it easy. Now, guys, I was thinking yesterday that May 3rd will be the end of lockdown for India. And I was also thinking they might come out with an, uh, with an lockdown terms and regulations, like, you know, like how they have in UAE. If you go on a bus, you have to, st only two people are allowed to sit in a three-seat row. Uh, you should have uh, social distancing. And then if you go inside a mall, there should be only three people. If you're traveling the car, it should be only two or three people. That two, if you're traveling without a mask, that should be only one person. So all that, you know, I was thinking that that's going to happen not only from about UAE, from other countries, what they are planning. And India has its own plan. So I was thinking that's all is going to happen. And all of a sudden, I came to know this news that India's extended the lockdown till May 17. I will assure you this, if this happens, the lockdown can get quickly, quickly taken away. The only thing I want you guys to do is, whether you are from North, whether you are from South India, whether you are from the East or West, you all have to be, have to be united. You all have to respect the rulers, I mean the government there, and the Prime Minister's uh, decision and fight for it. This is the only option you guys have to break this virus. It is not the time right now to fight for unwanted things or to take unwanted things into the headlines. All you have to do is, if you are in a street and you live in a city where you want your city to come up back to normal, if you see people leave the frontliners, if you see people who is not wearing the mask and who is walking around for unnecessary reason, you should take the decision to speak to him and to advise him, to say him that he is not supposed to be out. Listen guys, recently I saw news, one person had this virus and that one person went to somewhere, some place and it got spread it over 6,000 people, 6,000 people. I don't know how it is, uh, this is happening but this is so powerful, this virus is so powerful. So that's the reason why I'm just saying and you guys know the world People died in this world, it's more than 240 or 230,000 plus. You know, it's sad to see people are vanishing like nobody's business. People are vanishing for no reason. Now, you guys, I'm not saying, see guys, please don't take me wrong. Maybe I'm just speaking or maybe I'm trying to highlight what's happening in UAE. No. If I'm in India, I will surely do the same. I will surely share the, fan, um, I will share the awareness. I will surely make people understand. It's you. It's only you can really help and make your neighbors, your friends, your brothers or your sisters or anyone who's walking on the, uh, walking on the road to make them understand. The frontliners in India has done an extreme job. They are still fighting. They also have families. I'm not saying people are, who are hitting the public, who are punishing the public, I'm not going to go into that, guys. Trust me, leave all this, this crazy stuff things, leave all these things. Just focus how 
you guys are going to bring back India back to normal. It's in your hands. I'm again saying here in UAE, I'm sorry to say this, here in UAE, everyone had that fear inside them that we all have to see our families in the future. We all have to go back to our countries. We all have to earn for our kids. With that fear, we respected the ruler's order and we stayed at home. Like I said, there were only few, only few I can count. I can count hardly. I would have spoken to four or five people in this period, saying them to wear a mask. Apart from that, everyone, the Indians, Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, Filipinos, Nepalis, Egyptians, you name it guys, they were all united. But we in India, you all can do much more better. Trust me. I, I just want you guys to understand this message from my side. This is just a message for you to understand if you are really, 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 really going to join hands, if you're really going to be united, you can cut this virus, you can stop this lockdown, and you can all get back to work. I do understand the conditions right now in India, financially, not only in India, everyone around the globe, even the rich, they have no money. The poor, already they don't have money. Now, if you are going to start still be careless by roaming around, going to the supermarket, buying fruit. I don't know. I've seen videos. It really shocks me. I'm really shocked to see videos. People are just carelessly walking around. I've seen some, some videos in Delhi, some videos in Tamil Nadu, some videos in Bangalore, Hyderabad. They don't care. But guys, you have to stop it. You, you know the best thing you can do right now? You guys to stand. The youth should stand with the frontliners and say, I am going to support the country. I am going to keep my country safe. I am going to take out this lockdown. Let me kill this virus. Let me get rid of this virus. One person from one street, the entire nation will have a lot of people to support the country. Please take this as a positive note. I am again saying in a positive way, I am a travel blogger here. My entire channel has been changed mostly for news updates and I spread awareness. Whenever I get time, I speak about entertainment, reviews and stuff like that. I normally don't do this because for the past one month, I'm into this spreading awareness, spreading good information. But if you see before, my channel is full of entertainment. I might be losing views. I might be losing uh, subscribers. I do it doesn't matter for me. Because right now, at least, this five people see this video and that five people say the other five people, you know what, this is true, he said this is true. You know, that's the way it spreads and that's the way I, I want it to go. And I don't want, you know, to me to troll someone or give reviews about someone or give reviews or reaction. This time, this is not important for me. For me, it's to spread. For example, what is happening in UAE is absolutely true. I don't care what I hear outside UAE. I don't care what I hear about people talking about India. I know how my Indians are. I know how the people in UAE are treating us. So it's clear and it's neat. We are safe here and we are happy. Slowly, UAE is getting back to track. But when I see about, about my family, my friends, every day I chat with them. They're saying, you know, bro, I, I cannot go out. I cannot buy things. I'm scared. I'm this. When will I get my job back? When will I get money? I feel so sad. I feel so scared even to what is going to happen tomorrow to them. So guys, don't waste time in unwanted things. Do not waste time in talking unwanted things. Everyone in India, whether you're a Christian, Muslim, Hindu, any religion, any state, you all are basically one. Indian. Your passport shows you're an Indian. Finish, guys. Please, take this as a positive note. I might be talking, maybe it doesn't make sense, but for me and for a lot of people who are here who saw my video where I was trying to spread awareness here in UE, they took it in a positive way and I got that much of positive messages. I'm not going to come back to India and live and earn and become... Uh, famous star by speaking this, no. In fact, no. But I have my families there, I have my friends there, just trying to say, if you really, really work on this, the lockdown can finish 
before the 17th of this month of, of uh, May. I hope you guys don't extend this lockdown. And if you guys are going to extend this lockdown, there will be a lot of people without money. Trust in me, there will be a lot of people without money. Thanks so much guys for watching. I will see you in the next vlog.